Good day, everybody. Today I'm back again to talk about how to find some square total for linear regression problem. So I'll share my screen with you. Okay, problem. An educator wants to determine how the number of absences for a student in her class affects the student's final grade. The data obtained from a random sample are shown. So number of absences is X, independent variable, final grade Y is the dependent variable. The first thing we will do is enter X data in L1 and Y data in L2. Then we will do stat, calc, four, linear regression, AX plus B, X list is L1, Y list is L2, and we will calculate. We will calculate the list square regression line equation, which is y hat, that means predicted y is minus 2.667 times x plus 96.784, okay? Once we have done the, this, then the next step is stat one, move, to the car, move the cursor to the top in L3, where L3 is written over there, and then press second stat and scroll down to resid, which is short of residual and enter and enter. L3 is now filled with residual, which is same as error. Remember error is Y minus Y hat, okay? Then step four, then we go to stat calc one, okay? My list is L2 and I calculate. What I'm interested in is the mean value for L2, which is, will be shown as X bar, but is actually Y bar because in L2, we have entered Y data previously. That mean value of Y in this case is 80.33, okay? Then we will do stat uh, one, move the cursor to the top line in L4 and type in L4, L2, which is Y minus Y bar, which is 80.33. So in L4, you are typing, where L4 is written second Y, uh, second two, second two is L2 minus 80.33 and hit enter. Then L4 is filled up with Y minus Y bar. Remember L3 is filled with residual, which is Y minus Y bar. Next step, we go stat calc one, this is L3 and we, we are interested in sum of X square for L3 which is y minus y hat square or the error square. After we get that, which is 30.81, next step is stat calc one. Now the list will be L4, which is second and four. And we are also interested in sum of x square, which is 805.33. Remember L4 is filled up with y minus y bar square. So y minus y bar, and we are now getting sum of y minus y bar square, which is 805.33. So uh, I'm again showing that sum of y minus y hat predicted y square is some square error or some square residual, and sum of y minus y that should be square is some square total, okay? So, some square regression is some square total minus some square residual. Remember some square residual is sum of X square in the fourth column, which is 805.33. And some square residual is sum of X square in L3, which is 30.81. So from 805.33, if I subtract 30.81, I get some square regression as 774.52. And what is the definition of R square? It is sum square regression divided by sum square total. That is 774.52 divided by 805.33, which is 0.96. We'll check that out with stat calc four, linreg, X list is L1, Y list is L2, and calculate, we'll get R square as 0.96. Remember R square is the coefficient of determination and 0.96 R square means 96% of the variation in Y can be explained by the linear regression model. So R square, remember, is some square regression divided by some square total, and some square regression 
is sum square total minus sum square residual. Okay. So I'll stop here today. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. If you have any question, do not hesitate to type a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week and solve a new problem in stats using GI84. Take care and have a nice day and I will see you next time.